we fight for so much for these kids. Not just different activities, but medical stuff. I mean, it's just frustrating and exhausting to have to fight this much. A mother from Lebanon County says she has to be the voice for her nonverbal son. And she recently got into a month long battle with Hershey Park over a mask policy for children. Fox 43's Jackie DeTore explains how she was getting nowhere until Fox 43 finds out stepped in. Up until recently, all guests at Hershey Park had to wear a face mask. Now, fully vaccinated people don't have to. But kids who are not vaccinated still do. For the Horst family, that just is impossible for their son Sawyer. And for months, the family could not get a refund for their season passes. That changed after Fox 43 Finds Out stepped in. The Horst family from Lebanon County loves going to Hershey Park. They can be active, ride rides, and, you know, get some energy out. Their six-year-old son, Sawyer, is usually all smiles at the sweetest place on earth. However, that hasn't been the case over the past year. Hershey Park is really discriminating us and other families like us. Sawyer has Moat Wilson syndrome. But he is globally delayed in all areas. Um, he does walk, but he does not talk. Um, he doesn't, he, he's almost six years old, but functions lower than a two-year-old, like maybe 18 months. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Hershey Park has a policy that people who are not vaccinated against the virus must wear a face mask, which Sawyer's mom says is just not an option for him. He also has um, some sensory issues going on where for him, like a mask is on his face. He doesn't like that. He rips it off. I mean, we have a hard time keeping coats on him in the winter. Uh, we duct tape his gloves on his coat and he still manages to get them off. The Horst family spent more than $1,300 on the tickets before the mask policy went into place. While she has no problem with Hershey Park's policy, she just wanted a refund since she knows Sawyer won't wear a mask, which means they can't go to the park. This is a disability. It's not that we're choosing to not put a mask on him. I mean, if he was typical, I would absolutely be making him put a mask on, but he's not typical. Horse says she spoke with several Hershey Park employees and says they all told her the same thing. She would not be getting a refund. Their response when I asked them to please consider this situation was they have to be consistent. And that was all they would say. After getting nowhere with Hershey Park, she contacted Fox 43 Finds Out. I'm fighting for his rights and I shouldn't have to. The day after we reached out to Hershey Park asking why she couldn't get a refund, Natalie got a phone call from a Hershey representative. They have recently decided to allow families who are in our situation that have a family member unable to wear a face mask or a face shield due to medical reasons um, either a full refund or to roll passes over to next season. Horse did have to show proof of a doctor's note for Sawyer's condition and also decided to go with the refund option. Someone has to speak up for them. They can't do it themselves. So um, I just, I'm glad that they are listening to us now. Horse thinks without Fox 43 finds out, she would still be fighting for a refund. Without you guys, I don't think they would have listened to me or any anyone else in this situation. That family says they do plan on going back to Hershey Park when masks are no longer required for any guest. Fox 43 finds out also reached out to several other amusement parks in Pennsylvania to find out about their mask policy and if they're offering any refunds for people like the Horst family. You can find that information as well as Hershey Park's new mask policy on our website, fox43.com. And if you have a consumer story or scam that you want me to look into, Fox 43 wants to find out. Let me know. Email me at Fox 43 finds out at Fox 43.com or join the Fox 43 finds out Facebook group.